Welcome yeah. back. Ivy, so did you look way, up? Way to go. You made it look really easy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ivy. They yeah. made it look easy. Yeah, that looks like a lot thank of fun. Thank you so much. Now, our next guest, Ivy, she makes it look easy, too. And she's she is a lot of fun. She's great. She's yeah. a professional speaker, promoter, radio show host, and author. And she uses those many talents to inspire her audiences and give them the tools to live the life that they want and live it to the fullest. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to talk to her. Please help us welcome Miss Kelly Lamb. <laughs> Right yeah. off the back of the stage, it takes there. You for a ride. <laughs> this is fun. I like your shoes too, by the way. Thank you. You look great. Always delicious. Always. I like that. Tell me how you came up with your name. Well, it's not for my the, name. The name for your show. It's what I want everyone else to be, mm -hmm. including myself, is to be deliciously alive. So, you know, and and we're all deliciously alive in our own way. Maybe it's something you like to eat. Maybe it's something you like to to you like to dance. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. So it's really what makes you come alive and make life worth living. Well, like. there's a journey that has gotten oh, yeah. you to this point. So let's talk a, a little bit about bittersweet oh, journey. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, there was a lot of bitterness. But there's with some it. chocolate involved. Oh yeah, let's there, talk a lot about of chocolate. it. <laughs> well, you know, um, I've actually just always had this sweet tooth. Opened hmm. up a restaurant called the Chocolate Cafe, amongst all the many businesses that I had, and I'd go around speaking. Um, Is your life chocolate? And each letter of chocolate has a certain meaning behind it. You know, with challenges choices, courage, you know, whatever. And so with that, you know, things came tumbling down. Everything was really awesome, you know, driving around in the cool car and the whole bit mm -hmm. and doing really well. And then the economy took a turn and so did Kelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it, it lost everything, but you know, that's all right. I didn't lose my life. I didn't lose my kids. I didn't lose my sense of humor, which I told you, I think I'm hilarious. She is. I have to tell people that. <laughs> I'm so funny. Yeah. And then after a while they get it and they might, you know, I talk they them agree. into it. Oh yeah. yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. But it's, so with that, it was like, I wanted to come up with a way if I was going to rebuild my life. And that's what it's all about. You have to reinvent yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you have to constantly reinvent your life. And so with that, I was like, what can I do that's going to benefit me? But by doing something, everyone else is going to benefit. So my passion and my desire, my desire, I should say, came to give the community a voice. How do I do that? Well, through my radio show, through my events that I do, through speaking, uh, very philanthropical. So I really like to do things. I won't do anything. Every show I do is all about what charity that I can help. That that's makes me wonderful. feel like it, there's a reason why, you know, I'm rolling around your stage right now. Right, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I like that, Kelly. It's funny when you said you talked about the different areas you've, you've touched mm -hmm. in your life and your career. I think it's like a kindred spirit with our type of personalities. Mm -hmm. People that don't understand, they go, okay, they have OCD or they're, they're ADD and they can't focus. But it's I'm not that. You time. just feel like you can do it's like so squirrel, many things. Always. Yes. <laughs> One's it's running like you by. You can do so many things yeah. Yeah. and do them yeah. well. So now you, you talked about your radio show just mm -hmm. briefly. I want you to elaborate a little bit on your radio show. And I want to know how much the internet has changed or influenced your radio show? You know, show. I started on the internet. Oh. And then a radio station said, hey, you want to bring this over to us? And I'm like, how fast can I get there? So <laughs> yeah. I did, and I love it. Um, what's happened, though, is I went to the dial, but now it still has the ability to take it out onto the internet because mm -hmm. the internet's everywhere. So we're streaming, mm -hmm. and it's becoming digital, and things are changing all the time, so you just kind of have to keep up with it. But I love the show. I love the radio. I was saying in the back room is, you know, this is fun. You get to kind of just talk, and you're not back there. Well, maybe you are. <laughs> I caught that over there. <laughs> Everyone, that is the little box they get to read. <laughs> well, with radio, you don't have that. And with right now talking to me, you don't have that. So... You can just say what's on your mind to a degree without the FCC coming in. But you get to have fun and just kind of give people that ability to say what they need to say. The Internet, you got a little more freedom, you know, with that. There's a lot more. They haven't come down and said what you can and can't do. But mm -hmm. when you have television or radio with it, you got to kind of, you know, reel it in just a little bit. But with the ability to go, still go internet, that keeps everything on a larger scale. I, the other day on Saturday, we had a, a text that someone from Brazil was listening to the show because of someone they knew. So oh, to neat. think that, you know, the words went all the way to another country mm -hmm. is amazing. Cassandra is amazing. and I talk about how this show's on YouTube, and then of course yes. we stream everything live through our website, mm -hmm. and stltv.net. St. Louis to Singapore. That's right, that's our little <laughs> thing. Cool yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about, is sharing the words, you know, having music, and. Being 
being able to, I'm like, oh, I want to go over and hug her. <laughs> <laughs> but it's being able to, to share people's talents and let them have a chance, you know, to showcase their self. Mm -hmm. So speaking of talent, okay. so you've been doing radio, you were an entrepreneur, you are still doing that entrepreneurial spirit, but I'm producing so your own. I just <laughs> oh, please. And she's hilarious. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. My own comedy show. But you public, and you put this book out. And it was mm -hmm. about the uh, c chocolate angel, right? Well, and it's, it's actually, I used to always tell my kids all the time, believe in your dreams. Believe in your dreams. Don't ever give up. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something if you want to do it. And so with that, my daughter, um, it's my daughter Casey. And so I had a dog named Coco, mm -hmm. and she was a little chocolate lab. So there's a little chocolate puppy lab in the book named Coco. And this chocolate fairy, because everything always seems to evolve around chocolate with me. I, it's like better than everything. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> but uh, so it's Coco and the Chocolate Fairy. And basically it's, it's this little girl who who is dreaming of becoming, you know, a pageant queen and she doesn't think she can and basically when this chocolate fairy comes into your room and sprinkles the magic chocolate dust, you know, everything comes true. So how great would that be if we yeah. just went around sprinkling a little magic dust and all kind of things happen. But so I just really everything I do is try to bring the humor out in it um, and allow people to sweeten their life no matter how bad it can get, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it can get it can get difficult at times, but so, you have to find the humor in it. And the chocolate. And the chocolate, a lot of chocolate. And you know, I'm chocolate already, so I started somewhere. <laughs> I saw so delicious. Some uh, girl tweeted, as we tweet the other day, I wish I wish they could invent something where you're tan all all the time. And I said, they did. It's yeah. called African American. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. I love that I get to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. It's free tan. <laughs> Kelly's got an event coming up in May. So tell us more about that. Well. I always had an event called Be Deliciously Alive. The, um, so this year, I figured why not have an event to kind of help educate people how to be dis deliciously alive. Mm -hmm. So Gold's Gym, who's a huge supporter of what I do, um, we're going to actually have it at the St. Peter's location. It'll be filled with probably around 70 vendors, sponsors, everything to kind of kick back or kickstart, I should say, your life again. It might be foods, uh, organic items, health tips, doctors, people to be able to talk to, even if it's a lawyer, whatever it is, to kind of mm. figure out what it is that you might need to do to reinvent yourself. People get, you know, you're married a long time, you're stuck in a job a long time, and we're fortunate to have maybe these situations, but you really have to keep always finding new passion, finding new things that kind of ignite you. You know, don't get stuck in the same place. It's okay to change. You can change yourself every year if you want. Mm -hmm. My hairstyle and my clothes, <laughs> it's like, you know, you never know what it might be the next day, but it's what you're feeling, what you want to do, what makes you deliciously alive. That's like my it. whole thing. I, I love like it. it. Good you energy. So Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah.